Let's go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga and the sequel trilogy alike. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one of the biggest questions of all for the sequel trilogy itself with Episode 9 by director J.J. Abrams is, of course, exactly how is J.J. going to wrap up the entire Skywalker Saga that will be a very hard task in order to really satisfy a lot of fans around the world. Now today I wanted to get on the subject of the official Star Wars Episode 9 trailer. A lot of people have been wondering about when we could expect to see this thing and when will Disney and Lucasfilm apparently will begin production on developing the trailer and making it ready for release at either Star Wars Celebration or quite possibly even before that. Now these past couple of weeks we have been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to all the different set designs, the set leaks, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. However, when it comes to the actual trailer slash teaser itself, the good news is that they will begin developing multiple trailers at certain trailer agencies by this December and that Disney is going to be very cautious with their marketing by revealing as little footage as possible to keep fans wondering. Now that's one thing about The Last Jedi is that if you guys go ahead and check out the teaser trailer and the other trailer that came out a little bit after the teaser actually released and all the different TV spots here and there, if you actually think about it, a lot of footage was released for that movie and a lot of people were actually able to kind of get an idea of what was in the beginning of the movie and what was in the end of the film. Uh, one great example is when, you know, one of the big TV spots revealed that, you know, we had Rey in Snoke's throne room. It was pretty much known at that point in time that that was taking place during the ending of the movie. And we knew that Snoke was there. We could see him in the background and all. Now, aside from all of this, all right, Disney supposedly wants to make the wait for the trailer a whole lot longer than The Force Awakens, meaning we may only just get a teaser by the time April comes by. And that's a huge subject for sure, because a lot of people are also wondering, what are we going to get at Star Wars Celebration? Is it going to be just a teaser trailer, or is it going to be a full-blown trailer, like how we got with The Force Awakens, I believe it was, you know, in the beginning of 2015. So looking at everything here for episode 9, it seems as though that Disney and Lucasfilm are trying to really withhold a lot of footage that's going to be revealing a lot of different plot points for our characters, which is of course, you know, being, you know, very guarded by Disney and Lucasfilm. They're really trying to essentially create a product that they really can't mess up this time. Because looking at episode 9, this is a very important project by them. We do know that. And we also know that the fans expect to see some huge surprises and some big shocking twists and turns that actually do in fact have a lot of meaning and purpose. So if we're looking at the trailer for episode 9, if it's not going to release by this April of 2019, I think that if we only get a teaser at Celebration, we can expect to at least have a trailer a couple of months after that. But the fact that apparently Disney and Lucasfilm, all right, they're trying to essentially kind of change up their marketing style in comparison to what they did with both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. That's one thing to really think about now. That tells us that Disney is actually listening to the fans about how they've reacted to The Last Jedi and that they are indeed also kind of reacting to the Solo A Star Wars Story box office results. They know that they have to change things up. Now, though I will say it wasn't necessarily a marketing issue, to me, a trailer is a very important thing, especially by, you know, a studio like, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm. They really have to get this on point. They really have to make it in a way that's going to sell the movie without kind of twisting everything around. Now, going into episode nine and all, we do know that there are going to be a lot of big surprises in this film. Donald Gleason has actually expressed this. Uh, all the other actors that are also involved in this movie have expressed expressed this before in the past, and even J.J. Abrams, you know, he said that we're going to actually, you know, get big surprises in this movie, and that he's very much, you know, excited to see what he has in store for the fans and how they're going to react. So, the thing here is this, when we're looking at The Last Jedi, I know that a lot of people were upset with that movie. Now, when we're looking at a trailer, alright, that's a very important thing in order to sell a film. 
So looking at episode nine, I think that that's what they have to do. They most definitely have to make a good way, a good preview that will actually get fans wanting to go ahead and see this movie without kind of twisting the plot points around that give us a false idea of what's going to happen in the film itself. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.